today we're going to talk about what I think is a secret gem in Cartesi and whether or not you and I should be investing our hard earned money into this coin. Now, if you are new to this channel, my name is Aaron. I'm on a journey to one Bitcoin. I'm a brand new crypto investor, but I'm just excited about all of this. I consider myself a little lizard brain, gorilla arm, diamond handed cowboy exploring the wild west of cryptocurrency. I feel like I sometimes I find some real gems. Sometimes I find some rocks and I think this one is a real gem. So if you want to follow along with me in that journey, go ahead and hit subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell for any new and timely updates. And of course, give me a like button if you are feeling like a generous person on this video today. It really helps me grow the channel. Now, let's talk about Cartesi, but before we could even talk about Cartesi, we have to talk about the problem that Cartesi seeks to solve, and it's solving it with the Ethereum blockchain. Of course, with Ethereum, we must talk about the trilemma. The trilemma is a problem for every single blockchain, particularly Ethereum, where you can only pick two of the three attributes of on this triangle to you know to give to your blockchain the three are decentralization basically making sure that there's not one locus of power that you know it's decentralized it's a whole bunch of little um you know locuses of power uh the second one is security security making sure it's unhackable and third is scalability the ability to you know run many computations you know you know just a lot of processing power and uh so for instance bitcoin plays between decentralization and security, right? Very secure, extremely, you know, decentralized, but it's very slow, right? It's slow processing, the, the gas fees are high. Ethereum is the same way, very decentralized, high security, but it's slow, right? And we all know about these gas prices on Ethereum network is crazy high. Just tried trading on Uniswap for one time. Now, what Cartesi wants to do is it wants to solve the scalability here it is a layer two scaling solution. Now, if you're new to crypto, you don't know what that means. I barely know what it means also. OK, layer two basically means aftermarket parts. OK, if Ethereum is the stock truck that you wanted, but it's like slow and clunky and it's ugly. You want to throw some aftermarket parts on it. You want to throw a layer two scaling solution on it. And that's basically a fuel system upgrade, cold air intake. That's some NOS, you know, just to make it go faster, perform better. That's my best example of a layer two scaling solution. Um, and it just makes it perform better. Now, what Cartesi does, it, there's there, every, you know, Matic has its own way of solving things like sharding. Um, and there are a whole bunch of different ways to solve the scalability issue. Now, Cartesi does it just a little bit different. Cartesi allows people to use a common programming language to work on Ethereum. Okay, so what does that mean? So basically, any application, any decentralized application, a DAP, that is built on the Ethereum network uses the language, the programming language, Solidity. Let's back up a little bit more. Um, every app that you use, either on your phone or your computer or whatever, or, your, or even every websites, they use a programming language. There's a ton of them too. MySQL, there's MongoDB, there's Linux, okay? So there's Python, there's Ruby. These are programming languages. You and I, us normal humans, we this is all alien talking gibberish. For programmers, that is common speak, okay? That is the that is the muggle tongue, right? That is like the, that is regular. That's like everyone knows that kind of language, okay? So everyone knows how to, you know, use that language in as programmers. But there is a higher level of programming language since the invention of Ethereum and blockchain known as Solidity. Now, we've already said that every application on the Ethereum network uses this language, Solidity. What's the problem? Well, the problem is Solidity is that like very, very high difficulty language and everything else is like the common people's language, right? This is like the backwoods swamp people language that people just, <laughs> the people just, you know, like, hey, girl, right there, buddy, what you doing there? You know what I mean? Like, that's what, that's what that is. No offense to my homies over there who speak like that, okay? So uh, that is the common people language and Solidity is like the high hoity-toity refined language that 
people don't understand it's brand new and it's very very difficult so there's a gap here uh, to kind of introduce to you how hard this is hey hey guys I've been creating apps for a few years now and really got hyped about dApps but in most articles you could see solidity listed under the cons of ETH right this is like a problem for for uh, you know app developers is that hey this is using solidity and I don't know solidity it's brand new it's very difficult solidity is it really that hard this person says anyone can really learn it in a few days but the problem is that it's very very hard to work with right the you know the contract has to work the first time and you can never get a chance to edit again no basically saying like hey uh that the the stakes are high the pressure is high and it's already a new language it's very difficult so that that is what's happening people don't really work with solidity it's that high refined thing and people work with uh, linux right or and ruby or python or any of these there's linux right now so what cartesi is going to do is it allows people to build on the ethereum network these applications using the common tongue not the refined one not the hard difficult one they're using the common people's muggle tongue right the linux mongodb python as you can see right here what is this going to do this is going to bring in a whole huge wave of application developers and what that's going to do is going to bring in the that creativity that energy those different perspectives and viewpoints and it's going to it's going to like be able to build on the ethereum network with the security of blockchain but with the creativity and with the mass appeal of all these new influx of these app developers and that's what's going to happen it's going to be great it's basically saying like hey you know what everybody come on board um this is this is like uh now it's open up to the people right now it's open up to like every app developer in the world instead of just you know a relatively small few now you don't have just a few people who are developing apps but you have this mass amount of people and think of the creativity that they can bring in together there now they use a uh, uh you know they use something called descartes uh and and this is just a protocol or, or a way of saying like hey you know what I'm trying to keep it simple, right? Uh, there are three, um, there are three, uh, what's this called? Applications to this thing. First, it's the scaling computation, right? It solves that trilemma that of scalability. Basically, what that word means is basically, you know how you open up your computer and you run multiple applications on it, like you run a video game on it, like you run a movie, you're playing a movie at the same time, you're playing music and you're surfing the web and you're playing YouTube all at the same time that is all taking up your your computer's power so it scales up your this computer's power scaling computation that's what that means so that's the first thing especially when it you know it has all these different languages to use what it does is when a when something comes to the ethereum network like a transaction and you got to figure this out uh you know you have to use computation your computer power computation power on it it then takes it off of the ethereum network and you know has it off chain and figures it all out there and then brings it all back on chain now why is this important well because have you ever tried to solve a lot of problems at one time well uh, what this is doing is it takes half of those problems and takes it off chain so that you could you know you're freed up to work on more problems or whatever it is you know what i mean so it just free it frees up congestion on the ethereum blockchain by removing them off the chain Okay, that's it. The second thing is that when it removes those transactions, those those computations off chain, you don't have to put it back on. It's private over here. Okay, so you could choose to share, share with the chain, but you, you you could choose not to. And so there's a level of privacy there. And three, of course, it just brings in this whole wave of people um, who who have this creativity but don't really want to learn solidity and can't learn solidity or for whatever reason it's it's just very difficult so they could use the the muggle tongue right instead of the uh you know that the serpent tongue well, no, <laughs> or whatever you know so that is basically what solidity does and how it solves uh the scaling issues for ethereum now let's talk about the charts and the prices so here we are cartesi is sitting at 69 cents uh today and we could see here that it, it moonshot here about may 8th and then it's kind of dropped down let's trade to the trading view and it's kind of showing on this like 
you know, it, it's 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 showing some good support here, and it shows that it's like an uptrend. Now, now who really knows? Uh, honestly, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't give financial advice. I, I'm new to technical analysis. Honestly, I'm a cowboy. I give cowboy advice, all right? So don't sue me here. But what I see here is a price consolidating, and um, what 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 I think will happen is it'll shoot up. Other than if like Elon Musk tweets and it drops the whole market down, I feel like this thing is you know has the ability to shoot up i see it going to a four if you want a price prediction i see it going to about a buck 70 a buck 80 this all-time high is about a buck 70 and the reason why is because a lot of there's they're doing a lot of testing with descartes and the test net the the start of all their testing is starting june 30th at the end of this month okay and they plan to launch it on their main net the main the main mamma jamma december 31st of this year so given that the testing will be done and you know things are moving on uh this can if it launches on the main net and people are receptive to it i mean think of all the people all the app developers that would be rushing into this thing not having to learn solidity but can still develop on blockchain on ethereum i think it's a great opportunity i think the i don't think anyone else is doing something like this and so yeah, I have, I have high hopes for, for Cartesi, but I, I see it as like a very, very long-term hold. I see it as like, I think you see the real price of this thing play out over the next two years. And so it's just my, you know, you know uneducated, podunk, muggle tongue, swamp <laughs> technical analysis there. So if you found this video helpful today, if you want to follow me on my journey to one Bitcoin, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, hit the notification bell for any timely updates. And of course, if you're feeling like a generous person, a lot of people don't feel generous, go ahead and hit the like button. All right, guys, lizard brain, gorilla arms, diamond hands. We'll see you on the moon.